smoking. Y'all, guess where we are? Back with Celestia. <laughs> Oh, this car needs some love. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here. There is Celestia. We're hoping we can get her running today. The goal for today is to get her home. That is the goal. Engine's put back in, as I'll show you here in a minute. Everything should be pretty much almost connected, and we're gonna hope that she turns over today. There she is. Hood's just kind of sat on there, but hypothetically, she should be almost good to go. There she is, in all her glory. Engine's back in. Gotta get the radiator in, a couple other things, gotta hook up, put the belt on, and we should be good to go. So problem number 343, alternator <laughs> sensor, is just not located in the right spot, and it's absolutely broken. So that's nice, it goes right there. But to be fair, for the entire wiring harness to have this one issue, <laughs> not bad. Look at that goon down there. What a weeb. Somehow we have to get that single wire connected to that. Okay. We do what we do. Mm -hmm. oh, well, we got it, we got it. Cool. So on the inside of the connector, it was soldered to the connector, it seems like somehow. Yeah, I see that. Um, but the actual retention like pin is there. Okay, so then we're good. Sick. And then nice. Throw this on there to make it look nice and pretty. Look, guys, I got the belt. Done. <laughs> Too big. Too small. <laughs> I see you. Catch my tabikis. I didn't mean let go. My fingers were stuck. That was the problem. <laughs> that was jammed in. That was as good as we could do. That was just me. You understand me? Like, I'm not that stupid. Camera. <laughs> you choke on your. <laughs> Yo! I thought you threw something at me. Thanks for the PTSD, Josie. So, um, we almost got Celestia finally put back together. We just have to put the shift right. There's the shifter. What's left? Right. Shifter and fluids. You gotta put shifter and fluids in order, hook the battery up, and hope to pray that she freaking fires up. I wonder what my face looks like. Uh, kind of stupid. <laughs> wow. Now I like your pee pee. We're, we're getting the shifter done now. Time to go into hyperlapse mode. You got anything to say to the camera? Um, Josie is actually. That's nice. Uh, so shifter's hooked up, which is cool. Um, now we're just gonna put the fluids in. This car is taking so much water, dude. No, I think, I think, I think it's uh, uh, uh. You good? Making some progress. Battery's getting hooked up. <laughs> the music goes out at a bad That's time. That's kind of weird. Yeah. <laughs> All right. God, dude. Well, how about this? First, get it to like just kind of turn, and if the timing sounds off, don't do it. The timing's not off. It's okay. This is nerve wracking.
The suspense is real. This is extremely nerve wracking. Hoping that we did this right. Mainly, I mean, he did most of the work, but still, I had my hands on this thing too. There's a lot of electrical tape on this car. <laughs> All right. Here, hold these. Unfortunately, um, the valves are not tightened all the way. Um, and so what's happening is the valves are kind of flying around um, loosely and the engine is kind of misfiring. So we have to kind of drop the cradle of the motor, take off the head or uh, take off the valve covers, tighten up the valves, um, and that should fix our issue. All right, so we went ahead and we removed the valve covers and what we found the issue was the rocker arm, as you guys can see, I'll zoom in on that, is extremely loose. Um, it was not tightened down all the way, which it happens, and Nick has something to explain. Okay, so let me clarify. I was watching a video about how to tighten them down, okay, and the guy was like, look, you tighten them down so they don't play vertically, but they still spin. So that's what I did. What I didn't do was then cycle the crank to move the camshaft to see how they went through the whole process. So, um... Idiot! No, I'm yeah, scared. They, no. they weren't adjusted at the right points. It's all right. Points. I told him because he was kind of upset. It's like, look, this is part of the process. You live, you learn. I don't know how to do any of this, so he's already farther off than I am. You live, you learn. You Come on, dog! <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so that is the issue. Can you, can you bleep that out in the video, please? Yeah, I got you. I, I'll leave it. But that's why she was kind of ticking is because they're really loose. They, see, this ones are tight. Unless it's because the, of the cycle they're in. It's, at the, um, it's because of the point where they're in the cycle. Gotcha. Okay, so no worries. So, yeah, you can definitely tell that the bolt's not all the way up there. It's okay. So, we're going to go ahead and tighten all those down. Get everything put together. Look at that. Yeah. Properly tightening these bad boys. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> all right, bump it. Stand back. <laughs> well, well you, piston comes we, we got lights in the car, so that's a good thing. <laughs> Sounds much better. Sounds like it's out of time. Popping back through the carburetor. Yep. Can't enter. When I put those timing gears back on, they were in the exact same position. Yeah. Huh. Unless it jumped time. Thank <laughs> you. 